Are you having problems updating Sims 4 or even seeing the update? Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to my Sims 4 tutorial video. And this is really specifically for the EA app. Now, I'm going to start with the not actually seeing the game update. And one of the main reasons that I noticed that happens, at least for me, is because I have left the EA app open when the update has dropped. And then a lot of times I don't see the update right away. I think eventually if I was just to leave it, it would finally show up, but it doesn't show up in the beginning when the update drops. Now I also have my automatic updates turned off, but that really doesn't have an impact from what I can understand. It's just a, a lag with it being open and not showing. So of course the solution for that is to restart your EA app. So the simplest way really to do that is to go here under help and use the restart app option. I have also sometimes just used the exit option and then reopened it and that also does the trick. Now, if neither of those work, then what I recommend you do is restart your computer. And I mean restart your computer and not shut your computer down and turn it on again. Because my understanding is with Windows 10 and later that the restart actually closes everything properly. And then when you open it up again, it has to open afresh and then you would see things. Whereas my understanding is when you use the shutdown is it leaves things kind of in a hibernation mode and doesn't fully shut them down. Even though if you look at the description, it does actually say that it shuts it down. But I've seen numerous IT techie videos that makes the comment that that is not the case. So I highly recommend using the restart computer option versus the shutdown option when you're having problems with your computer. So now the next thing is you see the update and you attempt to do the update and it gets hung and doesn't, you know, make any progress. So what I have done when that has happened with me as I have tried the restarting of the EA app and the restarting of the computer. And if those don't work in that case, then I go under help and this app recovery. And that essentially is going to clear your EA app cache. So then you would hit clear cache. It will just close everything down and open back up. And a lot of times I find that helps a lot. Now, I'm not going to do that right now. <laughs> I'm going to cancel. And right now I'm recording this. This is before any update. So that's why you're not seeing an update here. I'm just sort of showing you the steps for when the update is happening. Now, if that doesn't work, I highly recommend you just head over to the um, A answer headquarters and you can either go to the Sims 4 area, I'd go to the technical area, I will link to these down below, or you can go to the EA app section of EA Answers headquarters and let them know over there that you're having problems. The other thing really to do is wait, because sometimes the issue is that their servers are kind of overloaded or they're just having problems and they eventually resolve it and then later on the update will work. At that point, I still would recommend you do the EA app clearing the A app cache again, and then seeing if it'll work at that point. So those are really the main things if an update won't download is try clearing your EA app cache. And if that doesn't work, try going and posting over on EA answer headquarters, or if you're on Twitter, you know, AKA X as it's called now, um, go tweet EA help over there, but mainly really if none of those things work, just wait and hopefully it'll be available later on in the day when things are not so busy. So I hope this helps. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see a tutorial about in the comment down below. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.